And uh, we are praying that uh, as they go marking our exams, let them just give leverage to all the learners. Because uh, most of these children, as we understand, they started their, their class 8 syllabus in May of class 8. So they've had a very short time to revise, to, to finish the syllabus, to revise, and to prepare themselves for the KCP. So if they are just given equal footing, then we will appreciate, eh? so that these children can also enjoy the fruits of their hard work. Now for the CBC children, grade 6 learners doing Kepsea, we would re wish as a school, and I know many schools are equally of the same, that we remain with our children who are doing, who will be doing Kepsea this year. So our 199 learners, we hope to remain with, the, with them at the end of the, the Kepsea. And when the year begins, we invite all of them to come back and let us do, let us do our grade 7 here at FESB. So far, I can say we are not experiencing any challenge. All has been set. Everything is ready for the candidates. We have received all the KCP Kepsea materials for the candidates and uh, we have received our list of uh, supervisors, invigilators and the security. So we hope for the best for the learners. We are praying for the candidates. They have worked quite hard. Our candidates have, uh, have been very consistent and have worked very hard. And uh, like previous years, we hope for the best for these candidates of 2022. Uh, the teachers equally have done very well. They have diligently, committedly, tirelessly worked with the learners. And we are hoping that they will achieve the fruits of their hard work. The only thing that you can receive as a reward is to see excellence in the children that you have prepared. Nukola kan nende lienero, kavano e kaunde kamega, Fernando Sparasa. Aborembo, Guruchu Bubwe, Alaki Shambo Sukuli, a KCA, Vere Nende Branjum County of Kamega. Hava so me, Vavende Castraisi, Yokunola Masom Sukuli and Neo. Nia no senenda vantage of Amajeni, Homi Midrumeno no Siambo. Avandu, Vanyaha named Yokotem Sukuli in Dala, Nombokotia Ade, Musukuli and Neo. Aladi, Alazaku and the Karupu have a song over the away now, when you are a song over the Dishi that our Hakura Machinikanako, Okurla, who govern the Menoyo. First and foremost, I want to confirm that, um, yes, I've already uh, given my assurance to the Vice Chancellor that we'll have um, a campus in Kakamega for KCA. Uh, Kakamega being the hub of Western region, uh, definitely we need the presence of KC University in line with the theme of today that no limits anywhere. Uh, number two, as um, the 21st chairman of the institute, we had a vision of having uh, the university have some strategic partnerships. And this is something that uh, I know even the current board of trustees and the university council is pursuing, because there is actually value in universities having training arrangements, so that we can also expose our students to international um, languages. That is something I'm sure the university will be pursuing aggressively. Yeah. Uh, Nukula kana nende yeneyo kule nyango kweza muka undi mshikwe nishia malava wava savi chief, nomba chief pala nyola kana nubale kasi anke fikao kusolu vezi kesi tiyavana 
balabura kuchereta serikali nomba okutirwa nendo kuchipa mashtaka kulonda kana nenda kulipa na mwanga makhuba kenako na makhuba kaborwe nenda bemerebe koti yebutali beno siembo abana batiti baburanga mutsishita inoba sabu chief nube khasetsi committee fuba fuba malira nga makhuba kabanyalo kukonya bana benabo nuba lomba maisha kabana benabo ni kama mabi abambe naba borembu mwesi kuno baleza kushukulichire kesi tiri mukoti tiosi tia bana bakishembu abana benabo le nyola nga haki nendo kumanya kodi maisha kaba kalaba aka kuudra makuba kana kurula ku abemiri be koti ene yo hiyo tu ni haupendi yo mtoto kabisa kwa sababu hata hiyo pesa ukipata ninajua hata huyo mtoto hatapata hata nguvu so chief tutadil tu na chief tukipata kwa kwa location yako kuna arguments zinaendelea na hautusaidii hapo wewe ndio tutachukulia hatua nakumbuka kuna ofisa mmoja saini gavana alikuwa anasema tukipata mtoto amebakwa kwa location yako wewe ndio tutashika i think if we had such leaders tungekuwa mbali sana hatukuwa na such agreements zinafanyika juu ya watoto kwa villages kwa location na hata kwa sub location ukishapata hiyo pesa itakusaidia nini na mtoto amebako kuna moja moja ya kesi nilifanya hapa baba ya mtoto amebaka mtoto wa miaka kumi miaka tisa miaka tano miaka nne sisi ni wazazi tufikirie some of us are women we feel it wanaume muache mchezo muache mchezo we need our girls and even the young young men are being defied Juzi nilipata watoto wa fulano 5 years 9 years they have been defied. Hmm? By the way imagine uncles neighbors let us do something about our children otherwise we will not have a future leaders we are not going anywhere without our children to see for our protect in a manisha we don't have a future in Kenya we must start now we must be champions of the rights of these children if we want to go far as a nation wacha nisiongee sana inanikasirisha mheshimiwa kwa sababu mtoto ambaye amebakwa maisha yake psychologically anakuwa affected na akiwa affected hata masomo yake haitakuwa sawa kama ni mtoto alikuwa anafanya vizuri unaona amerudi chini so ni kutangaza tu kwamba Uh, tunazingatia maneno ya watoto mwezi huu wa kumi na moja tulikuwa tumeanza lakini hii tu ni kuwajulisha nyinyi kwamba mwezi huu tutakuwa tunazingatia mat, uh, maneno ya mas, ya, ya uh, kese za watoto sana ndio maana tumewaita na ndio maana tunasema nyinyi ni wageni wetu wa heshima nyinyi ni ruto wa kesho nyinyi ni speaker wa kesho si ndio tusipo wa protest ama tusipo zingatia mambo ambayo mnahitaji sahi hatutaweza kuwa na leaders wa kesho that is why tumeweka sisi kama judiciary kwamba mambo ya watoto lazima yazingatiwe yapewe kipewa mbele uh, for this month ya ya november na pia sponsors ambao wameweza kuja ili kutusaidia ninawashukuru sana uh, kituo cha sheria ninashukuru sana world vision our officers bila nyinyi hatuwezi uh, enda popote ndio maana judiciary ilisema haiwezi uh, fanya kazi peke yake tunaweza fanya kazi peke yetu kweli bila nyinyi butali community hatuwezi fanya chochote kwa sababu mtaketi huko na elders wenu mumalize mambo yenu huko na sisi tutapata mshahara aje si lazima mlete kesi tufanye ndio siku ingine ndio tuwe sisi tupate mshahara si ndio mwisho kuna 
kuna mmoja wetu ambaye aliongea juu ya agreements ambazo zinatemekana huku nje juu ya development wazazi ambao mko hapa kweli kama haupendi mtoto wako utaenda kukaa chini na mtu ambaye alibaka mtoto ili akupe pesa Amakuwa kenako kaunjuru mkono nenda osi yesu wa shikuwe nshema lava james nyabidi Wino siya mbu abebli nomba vana beru kanga Nomba vetanga okuit troe kesi nipa kenda museli mwenomo Nivenya okumalira ingo Kano nikoka osi yesu mwenoyo abere nina kumurambi Shirikiana nasi hadi uyo mtoto apate paki kwa mara nyingi kezi nyingi huwa zinaripotiwa na bahada ya mshukiwa kuleta kotini unapata kwamba yule victim ambaye ni mtoto amedoroshwa na mzazi ama wazazi ama wale witnesses wanapodoshwa hiyo utakuwa umefanya nini umenyima huyo mtoto haki yake jua ya kwamba mtoto anapotulumiwa hiyo kitu huwa inabaki kwa mawazo yake milele na milele kwa hivyo zote tupigane mtoto apate haki kingine ningependa kuongezea tu ni kwamba kuna mila okorula na nendo kukaiti nendo kuchamba kule kwa kananga mkaundi tukameka Okorula na nendo kukaiti ndo kuchamba sikuwa kwa lakana anga mkaunde wa kameka Umlondeli wa governor wa kameka Ayu kusabula Yenyewe Aba somi Nenda vantu vosu wa mkaundu kwa mshikwenye mwenomo Kwa la mandamano ka amani Haba nyole Ukuhonye kutula kusarikali ya weneyo Nala kaya nenda vantu chepa macheni Mkaundi ya neyo mkongo mwenoi ya nosi yembu Saya kusivalea ma Avantu kukwa Likwale kama nyika anatawe Adali kavar serikali sila kukula tu watawe Kandu wa nabalanda mana okupura emyesi chawa vere siye Okulonda kana nenda wa somi Kenyite serikali kushukuli chile emma kupa kenako Karu wa umwe sumulala Nababu wa lambu Elifoli enero zafi ya kitanga wa somi Kwa somo anga msukuli eneo Nababu chila hama somo kava ni kava mavi Kano niko kava somo ya nako vere nako Iti forever Solidarity forever, solidarity forever, for the union makes us strong. Tungependa kuelezea uma kwamba kuna ubaguzi katika suwala la kuajiri wafanyikazi katika chuo kiku cha Masinde Mruro University of Science and Technology. Wale watu amba wanatoa inje ya kiajiri kutoa inje ya kileta, na bila kutumia sheria ya kuajiri anawapatia vyeo ambavyo viko juu na tunaona hii ni ni against the law inavunja sheria kifungu kumi tubi ambacho kinaongelea usawa na kuzungumza na usimamizi wa shule mara tatu kuhusu jambo hili hajaweza kutupatia jibu mwafaka ama ambalo linasuluhisha huo ubaguzi Ministry of Education jinsi tunavyojua kwa sasa iko katika transition. Watu kati ya 30 na 30 na 33 na wa, wageni uh, wale ambao hawana tajriba kama wale eh, members wetu wale wamehudumu wengine zaidi ya miaka kumi. na mwajiri anataka kuwaleta kwa zile grade zile, zile ziko juu kupitia mlango wa nyuma. Na sisi tunasema hivi. Tunataka muajiri kwanza aweke wale wa wa wa, wa, wa ajiri wenye hako nao wenye wamehudumu kwa muda mrefu awaweke kwanza awa place kwa zile grade zile inatakikana ndipo sasa anze kufikiria kuajiri watu wageni. Ya kwamba kuna wafanyikazi jinsi wamesema wamefanya kazi zaidi ya miaka 15. Lakini Jinsi ambavyo tunaona wanataka walete wale wa, wameleta kutoka kwa njia zao ambazo hazijulikani ili waweze kufundishwa na hawa na kisha baadaye wawe wakubwa wao. Ambaye ni kitu ambacho kinaleta taharuki kwa wafanyikazi ambao wamefanya kazi kwa muda mrefu. Kwa hivyo tunaomba 
kwa hali zote ili hata kama serikali itaweza kuingilia kati ili haja ama masilahi ya wafanyikazi wa mazinde mliro ambao wamepitia mchujo kwa miaka mingi yaweze kusikizwa we shall never be divided we obukoyanu wobulimi nende nzala ila ruranga mu Kenya muno ila ruranga nendo kokoreli manya kulonda hana nende buraki bwe fya kulya nende efindu fya Kenya kurumijira ka kufuna bya kulya kene ho na makuba kabolwe nenda bafongo bo mukanda kwa sukop Kenya nibongoso nende jun masharia Zeno siyambu kavara wa menyi banya loku manya Nomboku okonyo wale njira yoko rumishiro kwa raka Siwa kuliana ndo kurumishiro njira imbolela ya kawaida Banya la okufuna siwa kuliana Kwa ifunya loku tosha Nendo okuzuia Okukave siwa kuliana Kurula iluanyo wa Kenya Kano nuko kwa mkongo mwena wadere nako Ok uh, my name is JB. I am the executive director of Practical Permaculture Institute of, the, of Kenya. At the same time, I'm the owner and operator of Balita Ravens Farm. Uh, I trained as a high school teacher. I taught in three different schools. And uh, thereafter, I left my teaching career with the Teacher Service Commission to start farming uh, in schools. My main calling was to do uh, food forest in schools. So when I realized that uh, the teachers and the students were not getting the actual picture of what I wanted them to produce at the school, I actually set up a farm which can be a learning platform for everybody who wanted to know exactly how these practices are done. So that's how I started Balita Ravens Farm. I got my permaculture course from uh, Salt Spring Island in British Columbia, that's in Canada. Then I took my TOT with the, I, in California with Quail Spring. And thereafter, I started my work uh, as a farmer, as a teacher farmer in, in this country. Uh, basically, my, my journey and my dream has been to transform schools from green deserts, dry deserts, into uh productive food forest so that we can be able to create an internal feeding program in schools without necessarily having to ask parents to provide food or to buy food for whatever reason um so far the results that we've seen in schools is that uh, quite a number of schools across the country have emulated what we are doing and we have realized that as a country if we can be able to continue a uh, champion in this then our schools and communities will be food secure. Uh, for us to be able to do, for me to be able to do this kind of work uh, impactively and uh, to experience a bigger change, I'm partnering with uh, uh, SCOP Kenya, that is Schools and Colleges Permaculture Institute, together with the RESCOP, that is Regional Schools and, and Colleges Permaculture Institute together with other civil society organizations that are working with the schools and communities. So basically, uh, our, our primary objective is to make sure that the entire country is food secure. And when we do that, we shall be working together to support the government's dream about food security. And for us, because we are not able to move in every home to teach every household how to copy and emulate these techniques, we have decided that schools and colleges are going to be our direct entries to schools. Mm -hmm. So that's exactly what we are doing. Maybe, uh... So permaculture pays a lot as compared to conventional farming. So one is that uh, I know that the mindset of our communities, especially our household farmers, is already fixed on conventional farming. And then as, as we move forward, there are actually quite a number of people are now come beginning to realize the disadvantage of consuming uh, food that is produced conventionally because of the emerging lifestyle diseases. So what we are doing is that it might not be able to be uh, a short-term thing, but we have, we have to be patient. It's going to be a long-term uh, journey to gradually transform our communities slow, one by one. It will take time, but uh, the mindset is still not yet worked on. That's why we are working through schools. And then uh, another thing I can be able to encourage 
the farmers and everybody else who, can, who is not aware of permaculture is that there's no way you will compare permaculture to conventional farming. If you go through the farm and if the way you looked at it, you'll realize that we are, we are only able to do what we call seasonal activities on the farm in zone four, where we do most of the annual crops like beans. After harvesting, maybe we need to uh, prepare the land, feed it manure and plant another crop the way you've seen it. But all the rest of the areas we do zero tillage. So I can be able to advise them that instead of moving with you, I mean, get up every day with your jembe and going into the farm, tilling the land every day. If you go through permaculture where you'll practice zero tillage the way you have seen, it will be, it's not labor intensive. The, 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 the approach is not labor intensive. Then another thing is that because of uh, good feeding of the soil, and you even saw that, especially when you were in the vegetable areas, the supermarket area, you realize that uh, the production is very good. The vegetable, the height of the vegetables is very high because we feed the soil a lot. So you'll realize that the amount of vegetable you'll produce in a small area like you've seen is more than what conventional farming would do. And that will make you earn more. And then apart from just one crop, we are doing diversity. So that diversity can help you if you are not able to get from bananas you are able to get from vegetable you are able to get from cassava you are able to get from beans or or ground nuts like that so hii kazi ya permaculture eh imechangia pia ilichangia mimi kuacha kazi ya ya ualimu kwa sababu niliona manufaa yake maana pia ninajifunza pia yani naendelea pia kujifunza mambo mengi hasa sana ukulima na pia biashara. Ka labda ni shughuli gani ambazo mnazifanya kupitia yani kutumia ujuzi huu. Wa... Okay, um my name is John Masharia and I work for Scope. Scope is Schools and Colleges Permaculture Program. And um, this is a network that brings together 16 civil society organizations which promote permaculture. That is sustainable land use practices and environmental conservation education in schools. And the reason is to um, create awareness and build their capacity for them to understand uh, the concept of uh, agroecology so that uh, um, they can actually help us to disseminate information on agroecology in uh, schools and also at the community level uh, to reach out to wider community. Um, in scope we do work through stakeholders, uh, we do work with the different stakeholders through school, um, whole school development approach and uh, this approach brings together different stakeholders like uh, teachers, the parents, the school management, local leaders and we have noted that uh, in the last few years we have been missing one of the stakeholders who is the media and uh, through the media we can reach out to many uh, people we can communicate there, we can communicate and disseminate this information, the good practices, to quite a number of people so that uh, we benefit many school community in the country rather than the few that you're able to reach physically. The Scope Country chapters are doing really contributes to, to that. And I say the whole school approach because also this co controls the issues of conflicts. When we are talking about permaculture and agroecology, we are also talking about soil management and water management. And sometimes if you don't involve the school, for instance, I mean the community as a whole, and the school has water, then there will be issues of insecurity. The community would want to come to the school to get water, and there will be also issues of theft. If the school has crops or food crops that they're using, the community would also want to come and steal a bit of it or vegetables to cook at home because they're not doing it. So the entry point is the school so that the community also uh, copies what the school is doing and the children goes back home and do the same so that they have the whole community is actually doing uh, what is supposed to be done and of course we uh, encourage it through use, using locally available resources when I say locally available resources is uh, issues things like manure uh, farming the you know agroecology you say agroecology is the way of life so farming the way we refer to as our grandmother style of farming and what our, our trainer jb has just talked about just what so um yeah i talked about afsa and uh, for me because i came from the co-op uh, with my colleagues uh, a conference of parties which was in sham al-sheikh in egypt there were so many positions that we were we were 
taking as Africans and Africans including Kenya and the other countries. So uh, one of them was actually to ensure that our country uh, policy frameworks include uh, uh, principles of agroecology, principles of permaculture in all the policy documents that they have. So that was one of it and also the other one was about not giving loans to farmers but giving grants because we have observed even as we work with the community especially women are very much affected they end up losing their land losing their cattle just because they've taken a loan to buy seeds or to buy fertilizers so we are demanding that even if we have that climate finance it has to be a grant and not a loan to the farmer so that they can be able to really do it sustainably and with support from other other farmers and the third one was actually basically on gender issues uh, women uh, participate so much and the biggest percentage in agriculture so we are saying that they should be empowered and continue to do the farming because they are contributing to the GDP of each country and therefore they should their issues should be taken not only socially and politically but also economically it is important that as we do the agriculture we are doing the permaculture we are doing we are promoting or the agroecology we are promoting we consider the role of women and number one for us is they are their custodians of the knowledge also and custodians of seed. So whatever we grow on our farm is actually the women who know how to select the very best seeds for growing the next season and some for keeping and some of course for food. <laughs> Bye bye.